it's pregnancy update time today I'm commenting on my 33rd week of pregnancy yes I'm 33 weeks midway through my eighth month it's also Thanksgiving week so I've been very very busy getting ready for Thanksgiving I've been setting up we are hosting again this year um, we're having a slightly smaller crowd than we have in previous years I think we're having about 20 or so um, I've already got the table set. I've already, you know, kind of prepped everything, got my grocery shopping done, started working on some of the items, and today actually I'm doing a whole bunch of cooking um, in preparation for tomorrow's festivities. So um, I just want to say right off the bat, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, and if you're make, having preparations at home, having preparations if you're if you're preparing to host that all of your preparations are going well okay I'm gonna grab my handy dandy notebook here and let's start so as usual I'm gonna go through my kind of general stats what's been happening this week answer some of your questions from last week's comments and then show you some baby stuff at the end <clears throat> excuse me I'm losing my voice okay so I actually lost a pound this week, which kind of freaked me out a little bit. Uh, I know one pound isn't the end of the world and I'm at a good weight now. I'm at 26 pounds, is that right? Yeah, 26 pounds total now, um, up through 33 weeks. But I'm just so used to seeing the scale either not move or just go up. And so when I saw that I had lost a pound, um, it, it, I don't know, it's just a little thing, but it just made me a little worried. But I actually saw my doctor today and she said, no biggie, you're right on track, I'm not worried. So she said a lot of weight around this stage of pregnancy is can be affected by water weight too, so it can fluctuate with that. So there it is. Um, bump, regardless of losing a pound, the bump is still getting bigger. I feel like there's not a huge change between this week and last week. Um, it definitely feels bigger to me, like I can definitely feel the weight of it more. Um, I've noticed that I uh, my back like gets tired a bit after a while of lifting things or, or moving things or, you know, doing things in my house, um, especially giving my dog Winnie baths. Oh, you turned around. They can't see your cute face. There we go. <laughs> I live to torment her. No, I'm kidding. I live to love her. Um, giving Winnie a bath, I give Winnie a bath in a sink, like in a shower, it's hard to explain. Um, but bending over to give her a bath is like the hardest thing now <laughs> that I do. That's the one like really noticeable thing. And I'm actually gonna talk more about my symptoms in a moment, but I know it's the belly's getting bigger, baby's growing. Um, you know, and all of that. According to my What to Expect app, she's comparable to the size of a honeydew melon when she's all curled up, but lengthwise, she'd be anywhere from 17 to 19 inches around this stage, like as an average, and an average of four and a half pounds. Now that's not necessarily true for my baby's exact weight. This is just statistical averages that they offer. Um, and I know the fruit and vegetable comparisons are like a little weird now <laughs> that she's bigger and they're like, Really? Honeydew melon, 19 inches? It's really supposed to be like her in the fetal position, I suppose, but uh, it's just really for fun. And I just, I like including those because it's kind of a fun thing every Sunday. Sundays are my flip days. Um, I look and I, it's just a fun thing to do. Um, so yeah, she's definitely growing, packing on weight now. This is the time where the babies start gaining fat because um, they're not going to get that much bigger, like physically longer, but they are going to get fatter. <laughs> Little baby, baby fat. Um, so that's her kind of stats. Uh, cravings, I really haven't, there hasn't been much to note this week. I have been more interested in pickles. I've always loved pickles. I'm a dill pickle person. I do not care for sweet pickles at all. Like bread and butter pickles, ugh, ugh, I don't like those. But dill pickles I love and I've been having like well, we buy the spears, so it's not really a whole pickle. I've been having like a half a pickle with my lunch every day because um, it just sounded good. So that's, I guess that's kind of a craving. It's not like I have to have it. It's just been kind of a nice, refreshing thing to have with lunch. Um, and aversions, still fish 
and even a slightly different one now is shrimp. I didn't have any shellfish aversions until recently. The thought of shrimp makes me like run for the hills. So um, I'm just I'm not into shrimp right now. Just thought I'd share that. Um, and that's basically the stats in terms of symptoms. Like I said, belly's definitely getting bigger. Baby's getting bigger. So there's a little bit more strain, like physical strain. Um, I really feel good most of the time. Anytime throughout the day, I feel good. It's only after I've been on my feet for a while or doing a lot around the house um, that I start to feel my body fatigue faster. I just don't have the same stamina as I used to. Um, especially like the weight of the baby combined with my, you can probably tell I'm like so breathy in my recent videos. My um, lack of lung capacity. My lung capacity has definitely gotten less because uh, baby's bigger, so there's a lot less room in there for my organs, and things are getting squished. And she's sitting up pretty high, and she's like right up against my lungs, so and my diaphragm, and she actually pushes on them kind of a lot. So I do get out of breath faster. So I find I just physically fatigue a bit faster. Um, like the other this weekend, I was setting up for Thanksgiving, and I just like. I, it was just so noticeable t to me the difference between this year and last year setting up because I set up in the same exact ways we rent tables and chairs and all that jazz. If you saw my vlog yesterday, you will have seen, and I talked about this a little bit there too. Um, it's like the same setup, and I usually breeze right through it, and I can like power through and do a lot in one day, and and I just got so tired after that, like physically, like I had to sit down. <laughs> so I had my 33rd week. I'm finally getting like that kind of pregnant fatigue when you're doing too much. I don't know, most of the time, like I said right now, I feel great, I feel fine, my back doesn't hurt, my hips don't hurt, nothing hurts. Actually, my hips haven't hurt at all um, so far. Um, I do notice a little bit of an achy pelvis, like an, like the inner bones of my pelvis are a little achy, um, but that's just from A, the weight of the baby, and B, your ligaments and things start to loosen up a lot more this time of pregnancy to prepare for a childbirth, so things are kind of shifting and it, you know, it creates some aches. Um, but really nothing, nothing terrible, nothing like stopping me in my tracks. Um, so I talked about the limited lung capacity, um, and I mentioned that baby girl has been kind of pushing on that, that she does moving a lot. She's doing a lot of like kind of stretching motions, I think because she's running out of space, so she's kind of like pushing on the confines of my uterus, and I talked about this last week. It's kind of the same. Um, a lot of movement in that way. Um, some kicking and stuff too, and hiccups for sure, but I no mostly feel when she's like doing big stretches or kind of sweeping motions. And I can actually like kind of feel a foot and stuff sometimes. It's really kind of funny and cute. Um, okay, and then let's see. This week, like I said, um, I've just been getting ready for Thanksgiving. Um, kind of been like a chill, chill-ish week. Um, I had a doctor's appointment, um, again, <laughs> I have them a lot now, and I just had it actually, and everything is great, measuring right on track, 33 centimeter fundal height, so I'm right on track at 33 weeks, baby's heart rate was in the 140s, so that's the same as last time, and perfectly healthy, um, and... Yes, I think my next appointment is in two weeks and then I move to weekly appointments. We're getting to that point already. So that's kind of exciting. And then the other things that have happened is some of the things that I ordered for the nursery came in, including the rug and this little plush rocker I bought and the window hardware and treatments, window treatments. But I think next week I'll, I'll do a tiny little nursery update for you because um, we're gonna have the hardware hung this week so I can hang the curtains and I'm gonna work on the closet a bit. So maybe I'll do a little nursery, like sneak peek check-in for you guys next week in my update um, and show you all of that. Um, so stay tuned for next week if you'd like to see how that's coming along. Still don't have an update on the furniture, but I'm hoping to call the shop that I ordered from this week for um, see if they can get give me any sense of like a delivery estimate. Um, I've said this before, the furniture might not come until sh after she's born. We ordered it in mid-September. Um, it just takes a really long time to come in. 
I'm not concerned about it. We've got the bassinet now, it's right there. And I'm doing all of the little odds and ends with the nursery. So all of that we'll have to do is put the furniture in and I'll just have to fill the drawers. But I have so much room in the closet that I can store things in the closet, her clothes and like bedding and stuff that I'm going to put in the drawers. I can keep that in the closet until the drawers come. So I might have an update for that next week. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, so that's basically what's happened in the past week. Now I'm gonna answer some of your questions that you guys left me in the comments last week. Um, I was, <laughs> somebody said they noticed that I posted some pictures of the snow we got this weekend. We had the first snow of the season. Um, we probably got about half a foot, I would say. It snowed on Saturday? Yeah, it snowed on Saturday. I believe, and um, it was just really exciting. I love snow, I love the first snow, it's just so magical. It's definitely a little early for us this year. I have a feeling it's all gonna melt in the next week or so, because um, it's supposed to warm up and rain, but it's just beautiful and I love it, and Winnie loves it. Um, she loves frolicking in the snow. So I was asked if I have a winter, what did she call it? A winter weather hospital travel plan, which I thought was a really good question. And the answer is, we don't really have a different plan. We um, are fortunate to live in an area that is very on top of snow removal for the most part. I mean, you can like get down the streets, it might be a little slidey, but they will come, the plows will come by. Um, especially our main route to the hospital is a main road and that will definitely be plowed. Um, we both have four wheel drive cars. Um, our hospital is about 25 to 30 minutes away, depending you know, on traffic, uh, of a drive. Um, there is another hospital much closer to our house, but they don't have a natal unit. I don't know what you call it. They don't deliver. But in the event of emergency, we could go there, and that's literally like minutes from our house, so that's not a big deal. Um, and also there are, you know, people give birth not in hospitals all the time, in emergency situations where you just have to, you just have to do it. Um, and we've read about that and we learned about it in some of our classes and things. And, and worst case scenario, we've got the internet, <laughs> we've got Google, and we have all the information we've learned and we could manage if we had to, I'm sure. Um, it's not ideal, of course, much rather have the baby in the hospital, but honestly, it's so hard to tell with weather in Chicago. Who knows if we'll have snow or not at the time that she arrives, and who knows what the weather will be like. I'm really not concerned about it. I know that we'll be able to get there, and if not, I, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but I know that was a good question. Um, my sister-in-law, who's due in February, is a little bit more concerned about it and has been like, you know, reading up more on like at-home births just in case. She ho also hopes to give birth in the hospital, but you know, things to do, so. We can always call her over <laughs> if we need her because she's well-versed in it. Um, okay, I was also asked if I was planning on um, filling out a baby book for our child, and I would, this is something I really want to do. I have not really done a lot of looking around for baby books, but mostly because I don't know where to look. Like, where do you buy baby books? I'm not even sure. I'd like to buy one, I'm very, very picky about things like that, memorabilia things, so it's very possible I'd end up making something. I would probably want to make it next month, like in December. Um, so I don't know. If you guys have suggestions on where I can find a nice baby book or, or like links to people who made their own and, and showed like tutorials on pictures on how they made their own, I would love that. Please, please let me know in the comments. Um, but I do plan on having one and keeping one for baby. I also plan on keeping kind of like a daily planner for the baby just to, in the first, at least for the first like couple of months to kind of, you know, keep track of her feedings and all that and, and milestones and things. Whereas the baby book is more for posterity, the planner is more just for reference, for my daily reference. Um, and I have some, I don't know, I might just use something I have because I have some planners that I could use. But I do plan on doing both of those things. Um, and then the last question I'm gonna answer today, I was asked about what mommy vloggers I like to watch. Honestly, I haven't been really into watching vloggers lately. I, I tend to prefer sit down videos, um, either about beauty, mostly about beauty to be honest. Um, 
and kind of like Q&A video. I like sit down videos. I like chit chat videos. Um, but I have watched over the course of my pregnancy a lot of pregnancy vlogs, like pregnancy updates like this. So I thought I'd share the list of um, YouTubers that I have watched their pregnancy updates from. Um, so there's Anna Saccone. Her channel used to be The Style Diet, it's just now Anna Saccone. Um, and she did um, pregnancy vlogs with both of her babies. And then there's The Current Family, which is Lorraine Stanek's like, family channel. Um, and she had really, I really liked her pregnancy vlogs as well. Um, Makeup by Tiffany D, watched her pregnancy updates. Um, from when she, you know, before she had Olivia. Uh, Rach Loves Life, I love her main channel, Rach Loves. Um, and she did pregnancy updates very consistently with her first child. She's now pregnant, actually probably do around the same time as me with her second. Um, she hasn't been doing them quite as often, but she does every, every so often. Um, and I like her updates as well. And then... Oh, that's about it. That's it. So I will link all of those channels below for you guys if you want to check them out. And if you want to share any of your favorite pregnancy vloggers or pregnancy update YouTubers, feel free to in the comments as well. Okay, so now is the portion of the video where I'm going to show you some baby-related items. Um, so if you're not interested in that, I'll see you guys next time. But if you are, stick around. My mom came over for lunch last week and she brought some of my baby clothes over. And I just thought I'd share them with you because they're really cute. First of all, check out this tiny, teensy Oscar de la Renta bathing suit. Apparently, I wore this a lot in my first year. I was born in Southern California, so we went to the beach kind of a lot when I was a little tot. And it has this little matching robe to go with it. It says Oscar de la Renta on it. I mean, how freaking cute. I just, I thought it was so cute. I had to show you guys these things. This dress was for when I was a little bit older, I think. I don't know what sizes, just as medium, but really, really sweet. We actually have some pictures of me in this dress. Really cute little whale dress. Sweet. And then I love this little um, sleeper. It says, thank heavens for little girls. And it has a little collar like that. It's just, you know, a little romper sleeper thing. Um, really sweet. And then lastly, she also gave me the outfit that she brought both my brother and me home from the hospital in. And I think she said she had gotten this from like Bergdorf Goodman's or something. She lived in New York when my, my brother was born in New York. Um, so this is this really beautiful kind of knit, um, I would call it like an outer coat, little matching hat, and then a matching receiving blanket as well. So I thought that was really sweet of her to save those things and share them with me. It's kind of fun, you know, when you're expecting to see things from, from your infancy. It's just really sweet. So thanks, Mom, for hanging on to those things for me. Uh, I also received some really lovely gifts and notes from you guys in my mailbox that I did share. Helen from Canada sent this really, really cute gift. She actually got this off Etsy from a shop called Lil Love Bugs Creations, and I will link this below. Um, it's this little bouquet of baby washcloth um, roses. And basically what you do is you just take, you know, you take the roses off the stems and then wash them. But I thought this was a really clever and cute gift presentation and just really thoughtful. Um, and I love the bow on the front too, very, very cute. Um, so thank you, thank you Helen for thinking of us and sharing this beautiful gift with us. Brandy from Canada sent this gorgeous, I think this is, yeah, this is crochet, hand crocheted lavender blanket. I just love this. It is so beautiful. This, the white scalloped edging is gorgeous. Brandy, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful craft with us and taking the time to make something like this for our family. That is just so sweet and thoughtful. And I can't tell you how much it means to me. Um, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Denise from Virginia also sent a homemade gift. She sent this card, which is really cute in itself. Very cute with little bears on it, homemade. And she made this book. Like she wrote it and she illustrated it. And it is so, so sweet and thoughtful. It's called Getting to Know You. And it's a story about, you know, becoming a mommy. And it's a story of like a mommy to her baby. Um, and it's, it's just a really, really clever, like she made all of this book. And it's got little pe like kind of interactive pieces in it. I just thought this was so sweet and just really thoughtful. And 
Just lovely. So thank you, Denise, for sharing this with us. Speaking of handmade gifts, Shauna uh, sent us this card and wonderful note inside and some really cool planner stickers that are um, pregnancy related. Her shop is Essene, I don't know, Essene, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I will link the shop below. But she sent a little pregnancy bundle on the purple theme for me, which I thought was really sweet. Um, so thank you, Shauna. And Denise from, um, oh, where is Denise from? Canada as well, has a shop called the Fancy Apple Shop, which again, I'll link below. She sent a really nice note and this really beautiful handmade family Christmas ornament. It says the Ross family on it. Isn't that sweet? How beautiful is that? Brandy from Indiana sent a lovely note with lots of advice. Thank you, Brandy, for sharing your experience with me. Olga from the UK sent this really sweet card and a lovely letter as well, and she said she donated to children in need in our honor. So thank you so much, Olga, for, for your generosity. Sarah from California sent this sweet card and a nice note as well. Thank you, Sarah. And Katie from Georgia sent this sweet Lady of the Tramp. Lady in the Tramp card, which I thought was so cute. And it's fuzzy. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very sweet. And that is everything I have to share with you guys this week. Uh, if you have any questions that are pregnancy or baby related that you'd like me to answer, please leave them in a comment below and I will pick three for next week's update. Like I said, I'll share a bit of a peek at the nursery, a little nursery update for you, I think. Either next week or the week after, probably next week. And, um... Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate and, um, you know, a happy start to the holiday season. Thank you guys for your kind words and well wishes as always. Your support means the world to me and I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye.